Hey everyone, it's Isa and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a weekly vlog. I started vlogging this morning and I'm not really doing much for the rest of the day. I thought I would do a little Sephora haul. So I picked up some things from Sephora and their little like welcome back promotion sale they were doing. And I'm actually really excited about the things that I got. So I thought I would share. First thing I got is the Olaplex number no. zero, which is a new product. Um, it's like the first step in the line. If you're familiar with Olaplex, you probably know how it works. But I love Olaplex and I use the number no. three in my hair every time I wash it. Like right before I'll leave it in for a long time and then I'll wash it and my hair always feels so much nicer and healthier and this is supposed to kind of help number three work better so you put it on on dry hair 10 minutes before you apply number three and I actually have it in my hair right now I need to wash my hair so I have the Olaplex number zero and number three in my hair and I guess we'll see how my hair feels after I wash it but yeah I'm really excited about this Olaplex has never disappointed me, so I'm really excited. Um, so it just looks like this, and it's very liquidy. And then it also comes with a mini size of the number three, which is nice. I feel like this would be really good for travel. Then I got just a little set from Youth to the People. I really like this brand. It is the mini size of the Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream and the Adaptogen Mist. So I really like the cream. I use it most days but i'm running out so i thought i would get this because i really wanted to try the mist so it's just like mini sizes and i think i'm actually going upstate for a weekend in a little bit i don't know when so i thought this would be great for travel just a little mini moisturizer and yeah so i just got that just like a little random thing but i'm very excited for that i love mini size travel products i don't know why and then I got two products from Necessaire. I really love Necessaire. I use the body wash, body exfoliator, and moisturizer daily. Um, I have the sandalwood scent right now, but I'm running out. And I thought I was going to finish with the body wash sooner. So I bought the body wash a while ago. And I got the eucalyptus scent this time. And I haven't started using it because I still have some of the other one left. But I'm very excited use that and then I also in this order I got the body exfoliator and eucalyptus because I thought eucalyptus would be really nice for like a nice spa environment in the shower and I just love this color too so I got the body exfoliator this exfoliator is really really nice and it's very gentle and I have keratosis pilaris on my arms so I feel like I always need a good body exfoliator so I'm very excited for this it hasn't disappointed me and i'm sure this scent is going to be amazing and then the second thing i got from necessary is the deodorant so i always have trouble with natural deodorants so i'm not sure if i'm gonna like this one but in 2019 one of my new year's resolutions was to use a natural deodorant and i kept it up for like the whole year but no deodorant really worked that well so i kind of gave it up in 2020 and I'm gonna try again with this one. So hopefully this doesn't disappoint me. And it comes out in like little holes at the top, which is pretty interesting. So I'm hoping it's not like too thick. This is fragrance free, so I don't know why I smelled it, but yeah. And that's all I got from Sephora. So I'm very excited, all just like beauty care. I haven't really been buying too much makeup lately. I kind of have my routine set and yeah, so I can do an updated makeup routine too. But anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. That was my little haul. And yeah, keep watching if you want to see what I get up to this week. my pjs and i'm about to go to sleep but i wanted to share the little planner and to-do list 
thing that I got because I really wanted to make sure that I'm organized for this coming semester and for my internship. So I ordered this like little set from this like website. I'll link it down below, but I'm really excited about this. So this is what I got. It comes with these three things and I mainly got it for this planner. It's like a weekly planner and I really love the layout of it. So it has like each day and then on the side you kind of fill in the week so you can start whenever you want and you won't be wasting any paper if you get it at like you know like when they're like the monthly ones with the months written in like the 2020 planners i don't know i feel like you don't always get it when the planner starts i don't know but i like this because you can like add in like your meals self-care if you did that if you moved that day if you had enough water i don't know it just fits my lifestyle really well which i really enjoy and i can kind of just write in what i need to do that day for whatever and then it also came with this little to-do list pad which i think is amazing because it has like today with a list of things and then it has tomorrow so kind of like whatever you don't get done that day you can move it to the next day which i think is really really cool so i'm very excited about this i feel like each little pad will have a different purpose but i'm not really sure what i want to do with what so i guess we'll see as i like start using everything but then this one is really really great for a nice overlay it's kind of like the week in a review of the week so kind of like bigger to-do list daily things i can kind of write in like classes that i have going on these days and when i have my internship which i think is really great and it even has like a little meal section which i think is really really cool and then you can just like tear this out and take it with you wherever which i think is awesome and i just think they're really pretty which makes me want to use them so i really really like that and yeah, I just wanted to mention that because I think I'm going to go through what I have to do for the rest of the week and fill out the to-do list, but I'm so tired right now. I don't know why I'm so tired. It's only 10 o'clock and I usually go to sleep pretty late, but I also just had some smart sweets. I need to throw those away, but yeah, I also have this bruise here. Isn't that weird? I don't even know how that happened. The only thing I could think of was when I was doing like pilates workout on the mat and like it's like a really thin workout mat so it kind of like digs into my body but yeah i just wanted to share this because i'm very excited i didn't really vlog too much today because i wasn't doing too much besides going to lunch with my friend we went to the butcher's daughter it was really good i got their vegan kale caesar which was nice and then we just walked around a little bit and i just came home and did absolutely nothing except for blow dry my hair but yeah i think i'm gonna go to bed because i'm so tired Meet up with my friend for lunch just somewhere near us. We kind of live in the same area. And yeah, I was just working on some internship training courses. And I'm just gonna do, I don't think I'm gonna really put any makeup on. I've just been liking wearing lip liner, honestly. Um, so I think I'm gonna do. Charlotte Tilbury pillow top is my favorite lip liner and I kind of just outline my lips and then rub it out oh and then just rub it in it's really easy and I'll do a little in the middle sometimes 
just all fill in my cupid's bow a little bit because I have a pretty defined cupid's bow. And then that's basically it. Um, yeah, I wouldn't normally probably put some mascara on, but I still have a little bit of like my eyelash lift and tint that I got like over a month ago. So I'm not gonna do that. I also just hate wearing mascara. And I don't know, it just makes me feel a little bit more put together. And I've been loving lip liner during the pandemic because it like lasts and then um, if you put a mask on over it, like you're not getting lip gloss on the inside of your mask, which is really nice. And yeah, my skin has been good lately, so I'm trying not to put too many products on it. But I am going out to dinner tonight, so I probably will wear a little bit of foundation. But yeah, I don't know what I want to do now. I have a little bit before I need to go. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing, actually. So I'm just wearing this Kith Tank like crop tank top that I got a while ago and my Aritzia biker shorts. I'm probably going to throw a sweater on over because, I don't know, I just feel comfortable like that. And I think it's like in the 70s, which is a little bit chillier than normal, which is nice. So, yeah. And probably I'm just going to wear like black Converse. And then what's nice is I can come back and wear this and do a little workout. But I'll probably wear this sweater that I was wearing earlier, which is from Joa Brown. It's my literal favorite sweater. It is the Retro Zip Up Crew. I'll put it on and show you. So this is the sweater. I like to like have it scrunched, which I think is really, really cute. And you can like unzip it and zip it more. But I've been wearing this sweater a lot because it's just so fluffy and comfy and it gets kind of cold in my apartment sometimes, which is really nice. And yeah, I really love lip liner. <laughs> but I need to blend it out a little bit because that is a lot of definition. And then I also need to put a lip balm on. But yeah. So I am back at home now and I'm going to take off my nail polish. My nail just broke and I have, well like the nail polish cracked. It didn't really break. I don't know. It's really weird but um, I like to take off my own dip nail polish just because it, like I feel like I have more control over how much damage I'm doing to my nail and it's just easier i can like watch tv or something while it's soaking which is really nice so i have a little setup here i probably shouldn't be doing this in my bed but first i file my nails so i get like the top coat off and then i soak a cotton round in 100 percent acetone 100 percent acetone is key when you're getting rid of dip and then i roll it up in aluminum foil and then i just let it sit for as long as possible because I don't want to damage my nails so I kind of just let it sit for a really long time so that when I take it off it's like it all comes off really easily so I'm gonna do that probably watch some tv I don't know what show to watch but I might watch some youtube I don't know vlogged all day today i was doing a lot of internship stuff and i was kind of anxious all day i feel like i have been feeling like that lately and i kind of just want to talk about it while i'm doing my skincare because i feel like i've been anxious because of i've just been out of my comfort zone a lot lately and especially with this internship i don't know what it is but sometimes when I'm in new situations and like meeting new people, I kind of just feel like I get a little bit of like anxiety. I don't know if it's like social anxiety or what, but I just feel like it's all coming from a place of growth. So basically like you can't really grow without discomfort, which is something that my boyfriend told me today when I was telling him that I was feeling kind of anxious. 
and that actually made me feel better because it like shows that I'm growing which I love always want to be growing and uh, made me think like if I keep putting myself in these uncomfortable positions that are going to benefit me in the long run like it'll help me get over this anxiety that I feel when I'm doing this kinds of things if that makes sense so yeah so like I just have tomorrow is like the first day that I'm going in to the internship so that's a little bit nerve-wracking I don't know if like other people are like this but I just get really anxious kind of and nervous when I'm meeting new people or whatnot and I want to make a good impression so it's just something that I'm working on and I feel like this internship is helpful in that way so I'm grateful for it grateful for the discomfort gotta be like that's a great way to think about it because if not like your anxiety can really paralyze you and make you feel like like i don't know you can just like curl up into a ball and be anxious or you can like recognize that maybe you're anxious for this specific reason and how that can help you in the long run and help you grow so that's just the perspective that i'm trying to have in this situation and it's actually been really helping me so yeah and i also just picked out my outfit for tomorrow feeling prepared always makes me feel a little bit better too so that is something i just did and then i'm probably gonna try and go to sleep early tonight so i can wake up early and have a little bit of a morning before i have to leave i'm the type of person that like i like having a lot of like relaxing chill time it just helps me mentally so if I have to be somewhere at a certain time, I'm going to try to wake up early so that I can have like my own time to myself before, which I love doing in the morning. I don't like to feel rushed right when I wake up. Like if I have to be somewhere at 10, I'm not going to wake up at 9.30, get dressed really quickly and go. I need that time to get myself in check. So that's what I want to do tomorrow before so i'm waking up kind of early which will probably be nice i really want to get into a good routine of waking up early because i have not been doing that but yeah so um, my skincare was very quick today so i'm gonna go chill in bed before i go to sleep and that's probably all i'm gonna vlog today just this little clip but i just thought i would chat about that because i feel like that's something that a lot of people can go through and they don't realize that it could be beneficial which is something that I'm trying to realize so yeah also this is water I'm washing my face oh and I got my nails done today like as a break to like get out of the apartment I did like a nice nude color and I'm really happy with it I wasn't when I first saw it but I think it came out nice so yeah I'm probably just gonna relax review a few things before tomorrow and then go to sleep and i'll probably just vlog tomorrow afterwards i haven't vlogged in like two days but it's actually the day after i had my internship for the first time and it actually went so well i feel like i'm learning so much and it was only one day which is really exciting so i was definitely anxious for no reason but that's how life is um i just made myself a an iced coffee with stevia and cinnamon and it's actually pretty late it's a really gloomy saturday it's already almost two and i've just been in bed the entire day which isn't very productive but i was doing stuff all day yesterday so it's okay I ordered some avocado toast because I don't have any avocados left and that's like the only thing that I was in the mood for it. So that should be here in like 20 minutes. Um, and then for the rest of the day, I honestly think I'm just gonna chill tomorrow. I'm planning to um, do like some internship courses and um, I don't even know. I start class next or this Thursday so that's gonna be interesting. I actually
actually really need to do laundry so i'm probably gonna do that today i honestly have no clothes left i'm wearing this like random sweater um and yeah so laundry is on the agenda for today and that's really all i have to do i have a to-do list on my phone that i like to keep um and it's basically just vlog and laundry so that's what we're gonna do maybe i'll light a candle i also i'll show you my room's a mess so don't look at it <laughs> but i got in my plant i think i mentioned it let me turn off the air so you don't hear that but i think i mentioned that i ordered a plant subscription service from the same place that i got my other plant a year ago and they're gonna deliver one plant a month and i think after i get like three plants i'll probably cancel because i feel like three is enough but this is the plant i got let me put my coffee down so this is the little plant i got i think it's a Philo philodendron but it's really pretty it has the red leaves and i love how it comes in the same pot that my other one came in which is over there but yeah i don't know where i'm gonna put it yet i think i'll probably just wait till i get a lot of the plants to start organizing them but it was shipped here it came pretty quickly because i think it came from new york and new jersey so yeah i need to like Make sure she's watered and good. I think she's a slightly damaged because of like the travel, but she should be fine after a couple weeks of me watering her. But yeah, I really love it. I think it's so cute. And I'm really happy because I've been wanting more greenery in my apartment. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna chill on the couch, drink some coffee, maybe try to edit a little bit of this video. It's also, I'm not like starting to get cold but um it is the end of august beginning of september and that's always like sick season and obviously we're in the middle of a pandemic still so i've been taking vitamin c this is my favorite vitamin c it's the lipospheric vitamin c from live on laboratories and i just take one or two of these a day just to make sure my immune immunity is up and yeah just a little fill you in on that um i also need to put my bananas in the freezer because they are ripe but yeah i'll probably just get started on laundry in a little bit chill eat my avocado toast and i kind of want to plan out my workouts for when the gym opens i think it's supposed to open next week or the week after so I think I might do that today too. Just try, try to get myself into like a good schedule because I'm dying to get back into the gym. I'm so excited and yeah. Okay, so I said I was gonna do laundry and I said I was gonna like do all these productive things kind of. And what I ended up doing the whole day was sitting on the couch, ordering dinner, watching TikTok, and not doing anything. Which, I think that's nice. I don't really, like, I didn't really have any urgent needs, but I just put out all my laundry, like, on the floor and separated it because if it's there, I'm going to have to do laundry because it's so bad. I think this is the most laundry I've ever had to do, like, at once. I don't know why I just waited so long, but I'll show you the piles. Here's all my laundry. I kind of separated it, but I can't leave this like this. So tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to be so annoyed by it that I'm going to have to start doing laundry right away, which was kind of my strategy for this because this is absolutely insane. Like before I even get dressed, I'm going to have to do this because I can't even get into my closet. So that's helpful, I guess. And there's just so many things that I want to wear in there and I've had to like come up with random outfits because I have no laundry. So it just has to be done tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm honestly just laying in bed right now and chilling. I just edited the other parts of this video, so I guess I did do something. But 
but tomorrow's gonna be a productive day hopefully um i want to wake up kind of early it's already pretty late what time is it it's like 10 50 and i honestly did nothing today I just did my skincare and I had breakfast, made coffee, the laundry's going, so I thought I would show you guys this new sunscreen that I'm gonna try for the first time right now. It's also Korean, like the Beat Shield, which if you watch my videos, you know I love that sunscreen. But this one was easier to get because I can get it through Amazon and I think it's slightly cheaper. So we'll see because that Beat Shield is my favorite sunscreen ever. I love sunscreen so much. Highly recommend wearing sunscreen every single day. So I'm gonna do a good amount. And it feels really nice. This is the Perito Unscented Sunscreen. It's a chemical sunscreen, which generally is kind of a no-no because it isn't the best, but this is using Korean filters, so they're like a lot more advanced than what we have in the United States. Okay, off the bat, it's really moisturizing, and it feels really, really nice on my skin. I feel like if you have oily skin, you could probably get away with using this as your moisturizer. I think I can't read the ingredients on this. But there's no essential oils, no fragrance, no stickiness, no white cast, which is amazing. Like my skin has zero white cast. I always like to make sure to put a lot on my forehead because I'm wearing a mask when I leave my apartment. So um, my forehead gets a lot of sun. And that's where I know I'm going to wrinkle the most because I have such a big surface area. But yeah, I actually really like this. Definitely um, comparable to the Beach Shield. And I go through sunscreen so quickly, so I don't really mind having a lot of sunscreens on deck. But my skin feels really hydrated and glowy. And I really like it. Put some on my neck. Always gotta do that. So I'll link this down below. I really enjoy it. We'll see if it breaks me out or anything, but I don't think it will. Always gotta put sunscreen on your neck, your ears, eyelids. Sunscreen is the most essential step in your skincare. If you are investing in like so much skincare and you have really nice products and you're not using sunscreen, basically all the work you're doing is nothing. Like it's just going to be not effective because you need to protect your skin, especially if you're using actives. So gets an A plus from me and the packaging is really nice and like soft, which I like, I'm a sucker for packaging. It makes me want to use the product if I like the packaging. So, love that. And it feels really, really good on my skin. So, love it. Okay, what else do I have to do today? I really, really need to look through my classes and my schedule. I switched my schedule around slightly, 
but I kind of want to look at an overview for the rest of the year since I graduate in May. I really want to um, make sure I'm on track for that. And I start classes in like three days, so I want to rearrange anything before then just in case. I'd rather have like a heavier schedule this semester than my last semester. So if there's like an extra credit that I need to take, I'm going to try to take it now because I don't want to be like overly stressed my last semester. I want to have fun. So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, just look at an overview of everything I have to take. See if maybe I'll even get credit for the internship that I have right now. Oh, Tristan called me. Okay, I'm going to go do that. And... Yeah.